All right, so the DOM captures the content of the page, but we also need to know how to display the actual uh, page itself. And to do that, we need to build a CSS object model. Mm. And judging by its name, I guess it's similar to the DOM? It's very close. Let's take a look. OK, let's say we've received the following CSS. The first thing that the browser has to do is identify the correct tokens. Hey, but there's no angle brackets here, right? Yeah, CSS has its own set of rules for how to identify valid tokens. The details are not that important. If you're curious, you can check out the CSS specification link in the instructor notes. The important part is that the parser would convert the tokens to nodes. And in this case, the first would be the body with its font size property. Next, we would get the paragraph node. And this is the important part. It is a child of body because all visible content is part of body. Wait, is that some CSS specification rule? Yeah, exactly. Also, note that the children of the body node inherit its parent styling rules of 16 pixel font size. This is what we mean by cascading rules and cascading style sheets. Interesting. So it's similar to, but not quite the same as the DOM construction, because CSS rules cascade down. Hmm, curious. Let's say I've got a style sheet with a lot of rules. Could we also apply the same incremental processing trick like we do with HTML to make the page display faster? Ah, that's a great question. Unfortunately, we can't. We can't use a partial CSS tree. Let me show you why. Let's say we just received the first few bytes of our CSS, and it contains the two rules we have here. So we go ahead and build the CSS object model. It's tempting to use this tree to render a page, but there's a problem. Let's say we now get the next chunk of CSS, and it contains more rules. In this case, we have the paragraph font weight normal. CSS allows us to redefine and refine the style properties. This is perfectly valid, but notice that this rule would allow us to change our CSS OM tree and make the text in paragraph node display with normal weight. Ah, so that's a gotcha. So you're saying we can't really use a partial CSS OM tree because then it could lead us to use the wrong styles when we render the page? Exactly. The browser blocks page rendering until it receives and processes all of the CSS. CSS is render blocking. 